Welcome back to our Arduino programming tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to interface a button and an LED with an Arduino board and how to use the digital read function and if else statements also. Let's start by setting up our circuit. We will need an Arduino board and then one breadboard and one LED and one push button and then we need one 220 ohms current limit register for led and then 10 kilo ohms register for we can see here that the button has four pins of which two pins are connected to each other if we try to understand it from the drawing it looks something like this we can also check it using a multimeter which will show us continuity between the two pins that are connected to each other now let's start connection first we will connect the ground of arduino to the ground of breadboard and then positive 5 volt after this we will connect one side of the button to positive rail on the breadboard and other side to digital pin number 2 on the arduino board here we will connect the cathode shorter leg of the led to the ground rail of the breadboard then we will connect a current limit register to positive pin of the led the other end of the register will be connected to digital pin number 3 on the arduino board uh, after that um, we will connect a 10 kilo ohms register from the arduino digital pin number 2 to ground which will pull down the arduino input when not in use now our circuit connection are completed let's move on our code already written my code in arduino ide now let's take a look at it in this code we define the button pin and led pin as constant variables and set them to pin number 2 and 3 respectively a constant variable is a variable in a computer program that assign a value that cannot be changed during the execution of the program. Once constant variable is defined and assigned a value, its value remains constant and cannot be modified by the program. In the setup function, we set the button pin as an input and LED pin as an output using the pin mode function. Here inside the loop function, we have declared another variable named button state after that we will use the digital read function to read the state of the button pin the function digital read return either high or low depending on the current state of the button then we will use an if else statement to check the state of the LED button if button is pressed we will turn on the led if button is not pressed we will turn off the led now we will upload the code to the arduino board and let's test it out and see the button and led in action when we press the button the led should on and when we release it led should be off we can see here that it is working correctly we hope you find this tutorial helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more arduino programming and electronics experiment video thanks for watching